in my last video I actually talked about getting the imbued salve amulet for undead slayer tasks like aberrant specters and uh, I actually went ahead and got all the points for it but then I realized it doesn't stack but now I already have the points so I might as well just imbue it it is now imbued it is blue now EI I mean it is useful for Vorkath and stuff like that of Slayer task but uh, yeah kind of unfortunate I spent the time on this one uh, I kind of realized very shortly after it doesn't stack. I was actually going to wait until we have a trident to do the solar grind but uh, I might as well just do some solar kills before we get it because Max Nick is currently not on and he is the guy to get the trident so you know nothing else to do really might as well. Oh, second Dragon Halberd for the account. I can actually buy these in Priftinus, but they are very expensive. So it's nice to get one for free. <gasps> Collection- What? Oh, it's just a- t Oh my god, I got so baited. I thought I got a unique. Wow, it was just an elite combat task. Hey. <laughs> I was streaming on YouTube and we did one corrupted gauntlet for fun. And look at that, another Dragon Halberd. So we now have three. They are, by the way, good as a spec weapon. So that is why they are very nice to get. This is going to be kill number 80 on Solra in this one video. And I've got no uniques and this is no different. That was a fast kill. But for now, I think I'm going to be done with Solra until we get a Trident because he is 87 and he is just trying to get a Kraken task. And uh, so I'm going to stop here, but let's see how many scales I've got banked. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I think I forgot to tell you guys why I was grinding Solra. It's just for the scales because I want the blowpipe for Slayer. I think I was talking about that in my last video, but maybe not in this one. 20,000 scales. Let's put all of this in. Yeah, that's a lot of scales for the blowpipe. It's uh, going to be fully charged, I think, and 3.8k left. So we're going to be able to train quite a bit of ranged on Slayer, which is going to be very useful for Corrupted Gauntlet whenever I do that, because ranged matters quite a bit there. Oh my god, look at that. Mystic Robotum Dark on this task. Yeah, I think that's kind of rare, like 1 in 512 or something. So that's a collection log item. 81 ranged coming in here if I just get one hit. There we go. It didn't pop up because I got damaged, I guess, but uh, yeah, 81 ranged. A couple of tasks later, we are now going to hit 69 Slayer, and I think my goal for Slayer is just going to be do a bit now and then, get some ranged experience, and then keep on going with the Corrupted Gauntlet or Solra or whatever bosses I want to do, so that is going to be where I stop for now. Starting off the Corrupted Gauntlet grind on 26kc for this video, let's see where we're going to end and hopefully get this Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed. Of course, we have to see what the first chest is going to be. Oh, another Dragon Halberd, that is nice. The loot is stacking up and the KC number 30 is going to be some runes, crystal shards as usual. Oh my god, I had no food left and 6 HP, imagine if I get the Enhanced Crystal Seed on this. Imagine. We have one minute until a system update, but uh, look at what Max Nick got. He got a trident, and I'm going to use that for Soldra, so let's uh, charge it actually before the update. Wait, did I not bring out all the things I need? Oh yeah, the fire runes. Okay, so I am going to charge this with almost full charge, I guess. One from it, and uh, why I'm not going to use my magic fang on this to actually make it even better is because then I have to charge it with Solra scales and I am, as I said, doing mostly Solra for the scales. This is going to be fine enough anyways. But not quite going to Solra yet, we're not done with Corrupted Gauntlet yet. 40 KC, so we're technically 10% of the drop rate to the Enhanced Crystal Seed, but actually getting any of the seeds is like 1 in 25 or something. There are two of them that are 1 in 50, so uh, let's see what we get for chest number 40. A Dragon Halberd again, not bad. The Corrupted Gauntlet Master for a Master Combat Task. That is 50 KC done and this is where I'm going to stop for this video. Look at all this loot in the bag. I'm actually missing some Death Runes and Chaos Runes from when I charged my Trident. Last loot is another Dragon Albert. Look how many I got. I've got five of them. So we are definitely very good on those for spec weapons. Might actually do some God Wars Dungeon in the future with them. Like five people specking the General Grador and just instantly killing him will be uh, pretty fun to try. Oh my god, it's going to be so fun and interesting to try the Trident on Soldra now. I actually can use the Malediction Ward as well, don't have to use the Tome of Fire. Also bringing the Crystal Shield with a range setup. Might be able to stay here for quite long actually. I think my record before was two kills, maybe I can squeeze in three per trip now. 
Oh my god, that felt so slow. How was that? 411. The trident felt super inaccurate. Maybe it was just uh, maybe just the first time. Let's hope it is. One damage. Three damage. Miss. Miss. What is this trident? This is like uh, I what miss again? I ordered this trident on Wish or something. What is this? <laughs> for miss again? Oh my god. Well, it ended up being 3.13, so one minute faster than the last one, but uh, maybe I was just unlucky. Oh my god, I just realized I'm over 100 combats. That is a bit of a milestone, I guess. I think I got it from getting an HP level in the Corrupted Gauntlet, so I can actually use Duradel now as a Slayer Master. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> How many dragon halberds am I going to get in this video? I feel like I have like nine of them in my bank now or something. By the way, something I realized, I am only uh, 37,000 experience of 86 magic and 86 magic is actually a break point when my trident gets another max hit, so maybe that might change a bit. I mean, the trident has 15 accuracy and the toxic trident from with the magic fang has 25, so it would help a lot with the accuracy, but I really don't know how many scales it will consume, but I do want to try it. But you actually need 59 crafting to be able to uh, make that, and I'm only 58. But luckily, I have done the Corrupted Gauntlets. I have all of these to cut. Should be enough. 59 crafting. Let's now apply the magic fang to the trident. And now it has 25 magic accuracy. I'm going to start by adding 2k of the scales, I guess. It is now charged with 2000 charges. And I do want to see how many I use per kill. If it's like 100 or something, then I am definitely not going to do this. I feel like that was slightly faster. Definitely. Let's see the time. 258 so yeah it was definitely faster and now to the moment of truth i had 2000 charges in my staff and i had 2000 in my helmet exactly i reset it the helmet used 40 shards so that's not that bad i guess and the weapon used around the same amount so i guess i'm using like 80 and i got 200 so maybe I mean, it's not that bad. It's probably, I mean, it's maybe better to do faster kills and get a bit less shards because I need to farm so many of the uh, uniques anyways. And this is going to be kill number 200 as Doug actually completes the recipe for disaster. That is awesome. But uh, now I have actually not got a unique drop since 69kc, which means 131 kills since I saw the last rare. And the drop rate of getting any of them in a single kill is 1 in 128. Of course, overall, I'm still extremely lucky, but uh, it is evening out, I guess. And that is going to be kill number 230 for some Solandra teleports and some grapes. Look at that, 230 kill count. And I am pretty happy with that for Solra. I am now going to show you guys the overall loot. It uh, didn't track some of the kills for some reason, not really sure why, but uh, this is 29,000 scales banked. I actually got a lot of teleport drops as well, so that was very convenient. I barely had to run at all to the boss, I just used uh, the teleports. And uh, 3,000 grapes, that is uh, 600,000 cooking experience, so very nice. Three dragon halberds, some snapdragons, like overall you can see the loot is of course incredibly good from Solra. No uniques though, should have uh, technically got one from the amount of kills that I got, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, I can't really complain when we already have a blowpipe, serp helm and a magic fang. So I went ahead and alicked everything I got from the Corrupted Gauntlet and some of the Solra items like some Dragon Halberds. I of course actually kept one of them for myself and I put four of them into the storage. Also I did keep the Battle Staves because in the future you know you can instead of alking them for 4.2k for normal Battle Staves you can make them into a Water Battle Staves or whatever. And they're going to alloc for like 9k. So I'm going to save those but 2 million more cash from that. And my cash stack is now over... 3.3 million. Honestly, if I keep doing gauntlets quite a bit, I should get this to 10 million in no time. So that is very nice to see. But for now, I'm going to end the video here. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads, and until the next time, take care.